Hey, it's Dwayne Richards and welcome and thank you for stopping by. I have a quick tip for you today and it's on how to, running Zoom, leverage the power of your iPad without having to log in a second time. And the feature I'm going to show you is how to use the screen mirroring function and use it for doing presentations, running your, your iPhone as a second camera, all kinds of great features. And uh, for myself as a financial advisor, I'm now doing 100% of my business remotely and I need to do presentations with clients. So I'm gonna show you how to do it and connect your iPad. So what it is is when you hit, when you're running Zoom and you have the option of screen sharing and when screen sharing comes up, you, you know, usually you hit the screen for those the whiteboard, but the feature you're gonna use is there's another option called iPhone and iPad, and that's the one we're using. So I'm going to hit the iPhone, iPad, and now what happens is my screen shows up as, as blacked out, but what it's allowing me to do is hit the mirroring function in the iPad. So what we're going to do is take the iPad, top right-hand corner, swipe down, and it gives you that screen right there. And I know it's up in the top, it's kind of hard to see but it says screen mirroring, and then your Zoom call pops open and you select that and magic. Now on the main screen that you're seeing, you see my, my uh, iPad screen. And now I don't have to have it on the main screen and be holding up my iPad and it just doesn't look so good. Um, so what we're gonna do now is um, just show you how it works because now I can go in and I can actually give you a quick demonstration. So now I can click in here, run over, and I can actually run my presentation and I don't have to hold it up to the camera like this. No, you see it right on the screen. And now I can actually fill out an online application with a client and then the client can actually see the categories. Um, so that's, how I'm using it now with the iPad and then just go back and just hit zoom and you can stop mirroring and then I can do a stop screen share. So that's one option with the iPad. Now the other option is the same thing works with the iPhone and just give me a quick minute. I'm going to pop the case off the the iPhone and, and I can do the same thing. So I'm using the iPhone, pop open here and select screen share iPhone. And now with the iPhone, it's a little bit different because now I'm going to swipe up from the bottom. And again, right there, it says screen mirroring, gives the thing about Zoom call. And now, there you go, you have my, my iPhone. And the cool thing is I can now use this as a second camera. So you're gonna, um, there's plants, bottles. Now I use it actually to doing, for readings for color mirror bottles. So I can just go over there, but I don't hold it I have it set up with my tripod and then the second camera runs just over here like this. Pretty handy feature. And if you like this tip, um, give the thumbs up. If you want to get more tips like this, just hit the subscribe button now. And um, let me just drop something. Uh, let me just stop the, uh, the screen share. And there we go, we're back. Now, if you like this tip and you, and you would like to see more, as I said, hit the subscribe button and you're okay to hit the share button. You can actually share this back to your Facebook group. Uh, if you're in the, as a financial advisor like myself, um, maybe you have people on your team that would love to learn how to do this. So it's okay to share and um, leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on whether you liked it or not. All right, enjoy your day.
maybe pop over into the uh, the playlist. There's a ton of tips there on taxes as well.